Hello YouTube and welcome to another text loss video. Four weeks with a brand new Honor 7 smartphone are now over. It's time for my review. And I really have to say for a price of 300 euros it's a nice device. Uh, yes there are some points that I don't like but overall I'm really satisfied with the device. Today I have to give it back. But first of all, I will do the review video. I will always do it step by step. First of all, uh, what about the outside of the device? What about the build quality, feeling in your hand? What about the display, the speaker, the cameras, performance, battery life? What about all those features, fingerprint sensor, uh, the extra button and, and, and. So first of all, we got a 5.2 inch device which is nice, which I really like the size, but I what 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 I like even more is the build quality. We got one solid frame and a backside out of aluminium which feels nice. First, In the first moment you think it's a little bit too heavy. Yes, but after one or two hours with the device you don't notice it anymore and after a couple of weeks you really like the little bit more heavy feeling in your hand. What I, this is one thing I really dig on the device. The design really uh, let us think about the Huawei Mate 7 for example or a little bit of the new Mate S from Huawei. Of course it's the same, it's the same company uh, but overall really nice design. I really like the aluminium. I like the buttons. I can reach the on off button easily. I can reach the volume down button. Yes but not the volume up, um, up button. Yes I can reach it but it's not. you won't have, have such a strong grip anymore in your hands. Then uh, let's go around the device. On top we got our micro, uh, not micro, we got our microphone. We got our headphone jack, we got our infrared port if you want to control your living room with it. Uh, we got our combinated dual SIM or SIM card and micro SD card slot. We got a special button uh, which you can program uh, how you want to use it. Uh, we got our microphone, we got a speaker, we got a micro, micro USB port. On the back side we got our fingerprint sensor, we got our 20 megapixel camera sensor, we got a dual flash and on the front side we got no home button, we got our on-screen keys, we got an 8 megapixel front facing camera, we got even a front facing LED flash We got a, and we got the speaker here. So uh, build quality is really nice, it's a little bit heavy but overall build quality is great and I really like the design. It's like for example the HTC One series or like the Apple iPhones out of aluminium. If you want to get something differently than other than a glass back cover or uh, something out of polycarbonate or plastic. So this is one thing for a price of in the price range around 300 euro a full aluminium device. This is just great. Next step, what about the screen? 5.2 inch, uh, inch screen, full HD resolution with, uh, which gives us 424 ppi which is definitely enough. The device, the screen is sharp, it's bright, uh, you can even uh, get more brightness out of the device and it's colorful. I really like the colors. It's IPS, no AMOLED, but the colors are really great. Uh, contrast is nice as well as well as the viewing angle. We got a little bit of uh, reflections on the screen, on the glass so, uh, on top of the screen, but uh, which is okay because the device is so bright. Yes, the glass could get have less reflection, but you don't have to worry because of the brightness. Uh, let's turn this one down again or head over to auto. This should be okay. Next step is the speaker. And I have to say we got just one speaker, we got a mono speaker down here and uh, the speaker is really okay. Let's start now, let's search for an English tech slaws video so that I won't, uh, that I don't get any problems because of any music rights. So let's, we got here the Huawei P8 Lite review. Hey YouTube and welcome to another text loss video. I'm here with the Huawei P8 Lite smartphone and I've tested the device now for over two weeks and I took it uh, everywhere with me. I took it to London for the Honor 7 Europe launch event and uh, I took it twice to Berlin, or once for a couple of days at the IFAR. And so I've tested the device. So overall, 
It's a nice speaker, it's a standard, it's a little bit above standard mono speaker, uh, which is loud enough. 70%, 80% is definitely loud enough if you're using it as, at your desk for radio or in the morning in the bathroom for news or in the bed if you're watching Netflix, a movie, if you're listening to your audiobook, definitely fine. Uh, I would not recommend using it at 90 or 100 percent because it's mum it's starting to mumble it's too too loud it's it's not crisp anymore and you get a little bit of, of noise uh, in there but uh, from zero to 80 percent the speaker is definitely good. Uh, next step, uh, next point cameras what about the camera quality on the back side hello <laughs> no, I want to check out. First of all, no, 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 I don't want to take a selfie. First of all, it's a 20 megapixel camera on the back side, which can really do great pictures here. I tested it out really a lot. And I have to say, pictures in bright daylight and with enough light are fantastic. You can get really nice shots out of it. Um, if it's getting dark, the pictures are pictures won't be really good anymore. They are okay, but you can see it that, uh, that they are smartphone pictures taken with not enough light. Um, so it's a if the picture if, if it's light, if you got enough light there, you get really excellent pictures, really excellent pictures. But with enough light, the pictures are not excellent anymore. They're just standard smartphone pictures. Uh, you get a lot of menus or settings in your camera settings. You can do a lot of stuff with the camera. You got even some different options here. You got lightning painting if you want to do some some uh, artist shots with with a flashlight or a waterfall, which could be nice. You got a beauty mode that uh, will improve your face uh, even in selfie shots. You got photo and video, and you got a good food mode here which is for your instagram people who always photograph their food uh, which lets your food be more colorful or better looking uh, what about the video video quality is the downside of the camera i always think the camera quality is only or the camera video resolution is only 720p not full hd uh, and yes you have manually to improve it to full hd which i did uh, there we go Full HD video quality, standardly it's set to 720p and you have to put it first of all at full HD and even when it's set to full HD, I always got the feeling it's only recording, it's not sharp enough to be full HD. Another thing that I don't understand is we got a 20 megapixel camera, why is it not uh, possible to shoot in 4K? This is maybe one thing Honor is saving for the Honor 7 Plus smartphone. Front-facing camera, we got an 8 megapixel sensor here and again, which is really nice, which is really making good pictures if there is enough light. If it's getting dark, there's an LED flash on the front side, which gives you better selfies than other, other uh, smartphones without a front LED. But overall, it's still a picture with not enough light with a flash. You will always see it. Video quality, again, could be better. Uh, audio quality in both cases with the front and back camera is okay, which gets standard quality. This is definitely okay. And uh, what's the next point? Uh, let's talk about the performance. We got the Kirin 935, a octa-core, which is uh, of course again a dual quad-core CPU. We got 3 GB of RAM, which is enough. Uh, the performance is okay. Here and there, if you are switching between apps, especially if you are switching between big apps, it could be a little snappier, it could get faster. But when you are browsing the web or when you are on your website and you are surfing and the website is loaded, it's really a fast device. Let's load up the, the, the website here and then, come on, come on. So, scrolling around the website is fast, it's snappy. And zooming in, zooming out, it's, it's just smooth. Overall, it's a really nice performance. Look at this, this is running. Also in gaming, yes, you, it's a gaming device. Uh, you can do a lot of gaming. You can heavy gaming game with the device. 
it's possible, it's capable of doing this. Here and there, it could be a little bit more snappier uh, if you're switching between menus. I think this is because of Huawei's own software. They got Emotion UI on it, Emotion UI 3.9 over Android 5.5. 5. And this could definitely be more smooth. I replaced it a couple of times with the Google Now launcher or with the Nova launcher and those launcher definitely run faster and smoother on the device than Honor's own Emotion UI uh, user interface, which I can't understand. I don't think, yes, but they want to do something, something on their own. Just compare all the apps I'm standardly using on the device with all the standard apps Huawei or Honor is putting on the device. They want to give you their own apps that you want. They want to separate them from from Google apps or other uh, app manufacturers. But um, normal people know. Yes, it's nice to have an alternative, but overall, you still will be using your standard Google apps and your standard normal apps. Uh, what about battery life? Battery life is really good. We got a 3100 milliampere battery built in. It's fixed. You can't remove it. You can't exchange it. We can't, don't have wireless shield charging because of the aluminium backside, but we got quick charging. You can charge the battery in around one and a half hours if you got a quick, if you got a, a big or a powerful charging device. And the battery life is really great. I would say Normal people, two days, normal usage without any problems. Hardcore users will get through one whole day of this, on this device. Gaming is a little bit more tricky because gaming is a heavier thing you can do to a smartphone. Uh, doing gaming, full brightness, you can get through the battery in three to four hours. If you are doing normal Netflix streaming or watching movies or so, you get an on-screen time of around six to seven hours, depends on how bright the display is. And I really like, I really like the battery life, no questions asked. Uh, what about special features? We got a fingerprint sensor, which works without problems in four out of five times, because you always have to, to place your finger straight in the middle. You have to really position your finger directly in the middle of the fingerprint sensor. If I can see the fingerprint sensor, this is not a problem. But if you're doing it blindly from holding your smartphone this way, you always end up putting your finger sometimes on the edges or on the sides and then the fingerprint sensor won't work. This is the downside of putting the fingerprint sensor on the, on the back side. You can also get to the notification bar just by swiping up and down with your finger on the, noti uh, on the fingerprint sensor, which is a nice fe feature. But you can also get a fourth sign in this notification bar down here, here, uh, here and where you can get the notification and shortcuts just swiping down and up, which is nice, which I really like this feature. There's also another button on the left side, which is programmer. Uh, programmer, <laughs> you can program the button just to give it, show it to you and the settings. Uh, Honor is calling it a smart key and you can do three different things. Press it once, double press it or press and hold. I programmed it for just pressing it once to take a snapshot, activating the camera and taking a picture. Uh, you don't really need this because you get the same feature if you press twice on the lower volume key. It's exactly the same. Then the next option, pressing it twice, I programmed it to start the flash, which is really nice that you got a flashlight in your pocket. And the third option is, which won't work if you're not in the lock if you're in the lock screen because you have to unlock it for this thing to work. No, I don't want to start start shooting a video. Thank you, but no. Uh, which is hold, press and holding it to start Google or the Google search, which is also which also works. Uh, but you can uh, program it there wherever, whatever to do whatever you want. Just to show you, you can do some shortcuts: none, ultra snapshot, voice recording, flashlight, or screenshot. Or you can use it to open up every app 
you got on your smartphone. And just for your guidance here, there, there's a screw, there are the lags, there's the performance not really that good. Scrolling through all your apps is not that smooth. You always got lag here and there. And this is because I think the Emotion UI 3.1 is not really good programmed or it's not programmed uh, to 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 100 percent you got because if you're using another software on the device another launcher it's definitely more snappy what else do we got we got no nfc we got lte and of course we got again a, a dual slot here either you can put in two nano sim cards and uh, use it in a dual sim way maybe for two different numbers or you got one sim for data and messages uh, or one sim uh, for telephone and messages and the other sim card for for data no problem or you can use it uh, with one nano sim card and a micro sd card if you want to get more storage i got here the european 6 and uh, the asian 16 gigabyte version um, which is um, getting getting a little bit crowded because let me show you normal usage four weeks i got fairly around 3.4 gigabytes of free storage left which is still enough but uh, four gigabytes of apps and close to two gigabytes of pictures and photos so yes it's working but if you want to expand the memory no problem I've tested it with a 64 gigabyte SD card myself. Friend of mine tested this with a 128 giga micro SD card, which also worked. So this is also nice. What else do we got? Of course, we got the notification LED and uh, that's it. Price, what about the price? Here in Europe, the device costs around 350 euros, but Honor started a, a discount, a, a discount uh, thing, again, uh, already twice, giving you 50 euros off. So I would really have to recommend not paying more than 300 euros for the device. Either you wait for the third uh, discount uh, thing or you wait until they have reduced the price to standard 300 euros. And another thing is, uh, the device uh, is available in two different colors, either a white front and a light silver background color, or a black front and a darker silver backside. I really recommend taking the black version because we got a black frame around the display, which is a little bit bright it's a little bit heavy it's a sort of heavy bright fr black frame here which you notice on the white version but you won't notice it that much on the black version so overall this is a really nice device for 300 euros you get a mid-range a high mid-range smartphone uh, which is definitely a nice choice if you can live with the software with the emotion ui and maybe because it's Honor, because it's Huawei, that you won't get the updates of the next to the next Android version that fast. Overall, it's definitely there's something different than a Huawei P8 Lite or a Motorola G3 from build quality and of, from performance. Yes, it's definitely something else than the Samsung Galaxy uh, A5. But uh, this also got some advantages. Uh, maybe I will do a comparison video. Uh, but it's definitely not in the league of the Samsung Galaxy S6. The S6 is definitely something else again. If you compare prices, you already get the Samsung Galaxy S6 here in uh, Europe for around 450 euros because Samsung is giving heavy cashback uh, things. Um, they are really pushing the device over the price now in the market. And in comparison, I really have to say if you pay 100, 150 euros more for S6, it's the same way with the P8 Lite or Moto G3. If you pay 100 or 150 euros more for the Honor 7, you get a whole different category. But then again, if you pay 100, 150 euros more for S6, you are again in a whole different category. But for 300 euros, you definitely get a nice smartphone. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.